Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. William Ruto Igad drama continues as Sudan released a bad news as he is expected to chair Igad meetings next Monday. This is whatever Sudan is saying towards the chairmanship of William Ruto of Igad. This is whatever the Sudan is saying. The chairman of Sovereign Council, Abdel Fattah al-Bahan, will not participate in the upcoming meeting called by Igad next Monday in Ethiopia, said the foreign ministry spokesman pointing to Sudan's rejection of the Kenyan chairmanship to the quarter. Now, as this news is just in, as Sudan to skip the IGAD, it is a drama that started that day. William Samoe Ruto was elected or appointed as the chairperson of IGAD. As you know that IGAD is the union of about, let me say, the union of Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan. And um, as we are being told, that a four-way summit that is scheduled to happen on Monday to take place at Addis Ababa next Monday, bringing together the head of states and government members of quota mediation on the Sudanese crisis. And the way I've named Djibouti, I've named Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan. But while William Ruto is still being rejected by the Sudan, as you know, the crisis that leaked the other day immediately was suggested to be chairperson of IGAD. Sudan came out reiterating that upon their rejection of Kenyan's chairmanship of the Crisis Resolution Committee, stating that Sudan believes that William Ruto's close ties with RSF leaders and his associated economic interest make him an impartial party, that he should not be the chairperson of the the, I know something, I've made a wrong um, statement there. It is not a guard. William Ruto was suggested to be the chairperson of the committee that is going to deal with the, uh, the crisis of Sudan, not the chairperson of IGAD. But I want to make a correction there. I said that William Ruto was suggested to be the chairperson of IGAD, not the chairperson of IGAD. William Ruto was suggested to be the chairperson of this committee that is going to resolve the crisis in Sudan. And um, as the spokesperson emphasized, saying that it is natural for Bahan to decline the invitation to the summit. Sudan is not interested in any proposal from IGAD under Kenyan's chairmanship of the committee to address the crisis. On July 6th, Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed sought in vain convince Bahman to change his mind about Kenyan chairmanship of the quarter. And as we speak now, they have yet to accept as the rapid support forces, that is RSF. So now when you look at what the rapid support forces confirmed is that they have also received an invitation from the IGAD from the meeting. 
But according to the senior official, the invi invitation did not include the agenda. So they are feeling like there is a connection in between William Ruto, the president of Kenya, together with rapid support forces. As we are being told by Sudan, that they have association in an economic interest that make William Ruto an impartial party when it comes to chairman uh, of the quarter. So the RSF, that is Rapid Support, uh, Rapid Support Forces, has requested more details about meeting from IGAD. As the Rapid Support Forces senior official told Sudan Tribune on Friday. So at the Sudan Tribune and Sudan Support uh, Rapid, uh, of course, the Rapid Support Forces, uh, in a kind of crisis, the other party, that is Sudan Tribune, is feeling like there's a close connection and association in between the Kenyan president, who is the chairperson of the quarter, and the rapid support forces when it comes to the economic interest. So they are feeling like this is just a kind of impartiality party in that quarter. But in accordance with the resolution of the IGAD, heads of state and government summit, the foreign affairs minister of the quarter group on June 19th decided to prioritize a face-to-face -face meeting to address key issues such as the cessation of hostilities and the delivery of, of humanitarian aid as things are not good. Furthermore, what I want you to understand is that the minister agreed to convene an all-inclusive political process to archive sustainability peace, a peaceful transition to democracy and civilian rule. And that is the Republic of Kenya is expected to host this process in mid-July or the first week of the August 2023. So this is whatever is happening as William Ruto is still, these people are still continue to reject William Ruto. And the, 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 the party that is rejecting William Ruto is the Sudan Tribune. As they think there's a kind of association of William Ruto. But now, as even the Sudan, uh, let me say the Somali president, the other day came out requesting the Sudan tribune, and that was the president Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, requesting Sudan to accept or sought in vain to convince Bama to change his mind about the Kenyan chairmanship of the quarter, which they are still rejecting. Now, the question is, as this is something that is going to happen, and Sudan is expected, or rather this crisis, is expected to be resolved once and for all, and it is Kenya that is going to host this, will this crisis be solved if now, the chairmanship has been given to Kenya, and that is William Ruto, as the other party is claiming this association with the other party that they're fighting uh, with. Is there kind of resolution there? I don't see. And that is why I want to maintain still. William Ruto, these people could have come out to change him and give another person as a chairperson so that the issue and the crisis of Sudan should be resolved once and for all. Let not a fight continue in Sudan or this crisis to continue in Sudan because William Ruto is the chairperson of the quarter. It will be a bad picture. If these people have rejected William Ruto, let them not force William Ruto, uh, William Ruto to chair the quarter. What are your thoughts? Can they change William Ruto or let them wait and William Ruto to chair the, the, the meeting.
even despite of the Bahamas, let me say the, the, the Sudan Tribune rejecting William Ruto. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye bye till you meet on another video.